asymptotic to that, that line. How about this one? Can you picture what that one does in your head already? Draw a graph if you want to right now. You should be able to draw something with that. Are we going option one from the right or option two from the left? From the left. And should we be going up or down? Which one? Uh, it's going to pause infinity, up or down? Uh, uh. Lastly, the only case we have left is from the left going down to negative infinity. It looks something like that. Would you raise your hand if you feel okay with what we've talked about so far today? All right. That takes care of kind of our introduction to limits. We, we talked a little bit about that. Now, for the rest of our day, I'm going to teach you how to compute limits. Because if you hadn't noticed, this, this isn't all that fun. I'm going to show you some better ways on how to do that. Would you like to learn that? Cool. Any questions before you go on? Yep. The two limits for both approaches and they go towards the same point, but would it exist? The limit would exist. Yes, it would. So if we have a one side limit this way and a one side limit that way and they both go to positive infinity, yeah, sure. We'd say the limit is positive infinity because it goes from both sides. Or if the limit is going both negative infinity, that would exist. So let's see. This way, yes. This way, yes. This way, no. This way, no. It takes practice to do that, by the way. I showed you that already. Just one question about this one. Yeah. Um, it's approaching from the right. Should it, should it be approaching from the left? This one? No, the one above. This one? This is approaching from the right, going to negative infinity. Oh, I see the plus now. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let me write that out, too. Um, if This and this Do you see the, the, the thing here? If we go from the right and from the left and they both go to positive infinity, then this was your question. Yes. Sure. If the two, if, if this works all the time, if the left side limit and the right side limit go to the same thing, the limit exists. Uh, you could substitute in if this is going to negative infinity and negative infinity, that would be negative infinity. So you can draw that that corollary as well. Good question. Any other things? Any other questions before we continue? All right. Let's compute some limits. Got that? 